if you're given, one of the things we'd like to be able to do with linear equations is if we're given two points, we'd like to be able to write the linear equation in slope-intercept form. And we can use point-slope form to help get us there. Now, in this example, we've been given negative 1, 0 as one point, one coordinate, uh, or a set of coordinates, and we've been given 1, 255 as another set of coordinates. Um, in this case, uh, we have, uh, we have Two, two x's, negative 1 and 1, and we have 2y, 0, and 255. So we get to choose which of these x's is our x1, and it, let's say we choose this one to be x1, then this guy will be our y1. So we get to choose, or we can make this x1 and this y1. It's up to us. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and label, and I'm just going to arbitrarily choose this guy to be x1, and so that'll make this guy here y1. Now, uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have to calculate slope. So let's go ahead and do that. And so m is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, in order to calculate slope, we do not have to use this as x1 and y1, but we will just to, to make our lives easy and be consistent here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and label this guy here as uh, x2 and this is y2 and that'll make it a lot easier to fill this in and then actually calculate the slope so uh, that'll be 255 minus 0 that's easy and uh, 1 minus a negative 1 which is like 1 plus 1 so we end up getting 255 over 2 it's not the most pleasant result we could have hoped for but we can make it work so now we go ahead and we plug in our x1 and our y1 in our slope into this equation and then we'll simplify to get our slope intercept form. So let's do it. Let's go for it. So we'll say y minus 0. Oh, that, that we got lucky there. Um, times uh, equals 255 divided by 2 times x, y stays y and x stays x, minus x1, so again that's like minus a negative 1 or plus 1, and this one won't be too bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say that's y, and then this will be 255 divided by 2 times x plus 255 divided by 2, uh, normally we'd have to do more simplification because we'd have to take this number and, and add it over to here, um, but we got kind of lucky. Believe it or not, this is the answer. We just converted these two points into slope-intercept form. That's it. That's all. We are done. Point-slope form makes this thing sort of easy. Hopefully you agree. Point-slope gets us to slope-intercept form.